Yo YouTube, it's Anarchist the Doctors, also known as Sir Killing Center of Colors Drug, and I'm here to tell, do another video. Some some of the things that just roll across my mind, right? Um now if you read the 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 title, the title of the video video is probably something along the lines of Dear Continental Africans or My Continental Africans or Why Continental Africans. Something along that nature. Along that nine of that nature. Um <laughs> Super ass dashy videos. Yeah, I'm watching dashy right now. Anyway, um, yeah, um, now this video is purely just to open up and learn. I want to hear from a Cottonelle African as to to their own perspective on certain things. Now, um, it's not to get bashed. I'm not bashing anybody. I'm not bashing you on your religion. Or your spirituality or your culture for that matter. I'm not bashing anybody. The way I see it is that we're all brothers and sisters. We just long lost essentially. And we just haven't really found our way back into being uh, close again. Right? So anyway, um, this has always gone across my mind. And it's it's not just continental Africans. It's really just anybody who's considered non-European. Not European. Um, I'm the non-white European. Why Islam? Why Christianity? And I know, oh, he got a, a Christian cross, whatever. My foster mother gave this to me. Um, uh, I can't remember how long ago uh, she gave it to me. But it, I just want to ask you guys why. Why Christianity and why Islam? Like, what drove the continental africans to these religions now i'm not talking about east africans and ethiopia because those places have always had christianity had christianity before europeans came across the seas because if you know your history that uh christianity has been in the ethiopia area since like the year 400 or is it 500 bc it was something around that area something something along those lines right um I think actually I'm way off, honestly, but it's right after Jesus or the, the uh, Yeshua, what we call him, passed away. Okay, um, they went to Af to what we call Ethiopia now and um, founded a church there. One of the first churches were founded in in that country. Um, now, uh, I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to West, Central, and South Africans. Why? E why Islam? Why Christianity? Why? Now, um, it's like I said, it's not the bash. It's I'm just curious because look, African Americans in this country, I know our his our history, we our culture was completely wiped away from us. Our spirituality, all of it was des destroyed. Now there are things that survive, like Udu, Voodoo, um, and our music on our country. Our music and our and our uh, some of our culture it survived because we were smart enough to hide it. Um, fucking capoeira was a martial art that one of those martial arts that survived the um the Middle Passage, um the uh, slave trade. Some of our culture made it over here, but you guys are like the hub of our culture. What we look back to, because a lot of people I hear them complain like, why do African Americans only hold up Egypt? Now Egypt is the is one of the places only. This is probably the only place in the. Is like one of the only places that is known, like widely known, that is like undeniably black. You can't deny it. There are black people. Those are black faces and the statues. Those are black people on the on the walls and those tombs. Those are black people. Okay, those were black women and men. What we what we call black nowadays, or African for that matter. Okay, those are people. Those are, that is the reason why so many African Americans draw back to that because we don't necessarily see that type of culture and that type of power in West and South Africa. Because what we what West, South, and Central Africa, what we see are people who look like us who worship the same God that we do, or the same God that was forced on us. So, um, I'm not sure if I said this already, but like this was, well, this wasn't necessarily forced on me. Okay. For 20 years, I didn't even believe there was a God. I believed, I believed the God. And if there was a God, that he was an asshole because the way the world was, was fucked up. 
So I was like, fuck God and fuck his piece of sh- his piece of shit world that he created just to have me and my family live in shit while you give all these other people like the, the benefits of like the love of life. Like as time went on, I got more hip to the way the world works um, and realized it's not really God. It's human beings. Right. Um, also felt like a few times I have had somebody was watching my back. Um really and it really would have turned out a different way if i didn't have somebody watch my back i couldn't really explain some of the stuff that was happening to me um that was almost miraculous so um i've come to believe have my own relationship with god um yes i'm christian uh i have my own belief system though um i have my own spirituality though um i believe in the ancestors Okay, my I believe my ancestors were watching my back and, and God's a part of that and you know Jesus was the way, right? So um I have my own belief system though. But maybe I don't know, maybe that's what you guys believe. I don't know, because I haven't been I haven't had the time to really sit down with one of my friends who are from the continent of Africa, continental Africans, and have explained to me why it is they believe these things, like why it is or what happened? Because I know in history that the Europeans, I know that the Europeans fucked up Africa. That's what I learned in world history when I was in high school. The Europeans came in, they divided Africa up. Africa to use a divide and conquer tactic, divided up the tribes, made them hate each other, made them fight each other while they were coming and reaping the rewards. I understand what happened there. But you guys are the hub of blackness. Like if, if the continent of Africa sunk into the ocean right now that is it for us that's what i mean like y'all you guys are the hub like if it sunk that's it because black people in this country are only 20 percent, and really we most of us are fucking are so mixed up with europeans we're not you know what i'm saying we're, we're just we're mi- we're not we're not like that black right um uh that, that would be it for us right the only other left are like um, American, American Africans, like, uh, the people on the, the fucking Caribbean and the fucking, um, South American, like, that's it. That's why whenever I look back at Africa, I, I was hoping to see something of, like, I know the culture is there and I fucking love it. Okay. I just don't like that the religion is there because the religion fucked us up. Okay. Um, and, and yes, yes, I'm saying that even as a Christian man, right? The religion fucked us up, okay? Um, and it was used to divide us and to make us feel like we were heathens. I just want to know why. I just want it from your own perspective, not from some understanding that I have of world history. Right? I want to know from y'all perspective. I don't give a fuck about my perspective at this point. That's why I'm opening myself up to learn more. Um, point me in the right direction to read something if I have to. Um, but I'd rather hear it from somebody's mouth. Um uh, I'd rather hear it from a from you, right? From a continental African. Somebody tell me. That's what I want to learn. Okay, just let me know. I'll be here as always. And Arcus Doctor is also known as Sir Killington of Kalastruck. And um, you guys have a good day.